All right, folks, every now and then, things just work out just the way they, you hope they will. I was not able to go and get BDCS from Ozark Brewing Company this year because I just couldn't make it up to Rogers. It's, it's about 100 miles from here, and so I, I know that they weren't going to distribute it, so I, I had kind of given up hope that I was going to get any BDCS 2022 but I went into Sodi's today and uh, here they are somehow some way they had run across some of these I was in the singles you know the, the big single shelf and I saw one and I started I saw that there were six on the shelf so I just started snatching them up and putting them away I was gonna buy all six that was on the shelf and then I got to thinking well if there's some on the shelf Maybe there's some in the cooler, and I turned around, and sure enough, there were six four packs in the cooler, and I bought them all. I did. I left the six on the shelf. I didn't want to be super greedy because you know there might be another BDCS fan out there. But the next time I go, if they're still there, I'm buying them. So I bought six four packs. I do have the BDCS 2022, and this is one of my most beloved beers. I. I I rank this super high. This is a this is a top five beer for me. It just always is is consistently good. Now, I do I do get a little worried nowadays because of the the 2021 Bourbon County Stout let me down a little bit. I ain't gonna lie. I went and bought a whole case of it. I didn't really like it. So well, I bought a whole case of this. Let's see if I like it. And I do have a case of the 2022 Bourbon County Stout lined up. Don't worry. I'm still a huge Bourbon County Stout fanboy. But today we are trying the uh, Bourbon Double Chocolate Stout. I believe that's what that stands for. Uh, but these, these are very good. I remember the first time I tried one of these. All I could do was smile. This is a little cool because it's cold outside. So I'm kind of letting it warm up in my hand a little bit before I pour it. And then after I pour it in the glass, I'm going to let it warm up and open up as I review it. Uh, let's see. After I pour it, I'll tell you a little bit about it. This is made from a brewery in Rogers, Arkansas. The Ozark Beer Company. And look at that chocolatey, chocolatey head. Black is midnight. Oh, oh my God, that smell. Oh, man. Mmm, nice thick head. Got some sticky lacing going on right there. Oh, man, I could smell that. Like, if, if they made just a cologne that smelled like that, that's what I would smell like all the time. It is roasty. It is a... You can smell that dark, roasty chocolate coming out of that thing. Uh, I'm trying to find the alcohol content on this. One second. I'm, I'm fairly blind. I'm not sure. These usually run right around 10%, a little over 10%. So... I don't know. I don't know what the alcohol content is on Because if it's on this can, I can't see it. But look, that head's already going away, dissipating. Nice and sticky. That nose is, is roasted chocolate. And bourbon. Oh my god. I, I don't know. I have not researched because I got all excited when I found these. I don't know which barrels they used. I don't know what blend this is. I don't. I don't know if they did anything special. I'm just going to try this thing. Mmm. Enough talk. Mmm. <laughs> oh my God. That. That is a chocolate bomb. Oh man. Mm. 
oh, for a for a youngling kind of beer being this current. I mean, this thing came out in May. That is so smooth. Mmm. Oh, mustache sticky. Got an awesome mustache ride. Mmm. That is a. Uh, that is. It, it is a dark chocolate hit. It is not a milk chocolate hit. It is a dark chocolate hit. It is uh, roasted perfectly. It is blended perfectly. And I don't know what barrels they use. But that bourbon comes through. You get a nice gentle hug. It's it's not it's this one's not super hot. The finish is 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 pretty light. To be honest, the finish is not as uh, pronounced as as some of you know. If you get like a fourteen or fifteen percent beer, it's the finish is going to be stronger. I'm guessing this is probably a ten percent. I, I, I'm assuming. I. I Got to research some more. I didn't think I was going to get this this year, so I'm excited. This feels like a 10 percenter. Hmm. Very reminiscent of the. Uh, it's like a 1050. It tastes a lot like a 1050, just a little bit sweeter, a little bit more chocolate hit on the top of this thing. Hmm. Oh my gosh. Mm. That's a uh, that's a dangerous little beer right there. Oh my god. It is so good. I'm super excited. This is uh this is the week that the Bourbon County Stouts come out and then I I, I come across a case of my one of my other most beloved beers. Now I'm not going to get the uh the BCS variants in Arkansas, so I'm gonna have to rely on trading, and I've got some, I've got some really good beer to trade for folks for some variants, or I will just send you the cash because I I love BCS. Last year we ran through all the variants on the Groovy Lava Squirrel Medics channel, and uh, one of them actually teared us up a little bit. It was so good. You gotta go watch that video to see which one that was. But this is this is very good. This is, uh, let's go, let's do a, a scale of 10, and it's, it's warming up in my hands. Mmm, mmm. It's coming right out, that, that bourbon on top. The bourbon's actually hitting a little bit harder now as it warms up a little bit. Because, you know, when they're, when they're cool, when they're chilled, it's not as pronounced. The flavors are starting to really pop. Mmm. That right there should tell you all you need to know. Out of 10, this is a solid, and I mean a solid, 8.5. I would, I'm, I, I want to give it a 9, but mm, this is a very, very good beer. This right here, I will have no problem ever just reaching over and grabbing one of these things. It reminds me a lot of the 2020, the 2021 BDCS, and I'll I'll do like a comparison. I I think I've got a 20 left. Uh, if I do have a 20 left, I'll do like a three-year vert of these things. The 2021 was a little bit, uh, a little bit young tasting as they sit in the can for the year. Of course, they've mellowed out and got really good. This out of the can. This year, I'm I'm telling you this this may be better than the 2020 was, and the 2020 was amazingly good. If not better, it is tied with it. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. There is just this little twist, and I I believe. My brother's over at 21090, especially Todd. That little twist at the end, you would really appreciate it. And I think this may be kind of what 
Bourbon County Stout was shooting for last year. Because there is just a little, there's a little kind of hoppy anise twist right at the end. But it is a very subtle, sweet twist. It, it doesn't go bitter. Mmm. My goodness, that's a good beer. Mmm. Mmm. 8.5, I may not be doing it justice. This might be a 9. This is a... This is, without a doubt, one of my most favorite beers I've ever reviewed. Man, that is good. This is a, definitely a top five beer. You know, I've reviewed a lot of barrel-aged stouts, a lot of barrel-aged beers in general. It doesn't just have to be a stout. There's a lot of other barrel-aged beer that is really good. There's some barrel-aged ales out there that are really good. But, uh... Ooh. Mmm. Mmm. That is what I've been looking for. It's been kind of a rough year for barrel-aged stouts in my area, just to be honest with you. This was like a dream come true coming across a case of this. And I'm going to tell you what, if I get back to Fort Smith, I'm going to buy the other six off the shelf. And uh, everybody else can just just do without because it is that good. Funny thing is, I almost only bought a couple of four packs, and then I got to thinking, well, I am going to kick myself in the butt. Like, if I get home and this is magical and I didn't buy them all, I made the right choice. This is magical. It is a magical, good, barrel-aged stout. There it is. BDCS 2022. Top five beer for me. It's a nine. It's not an eight and a half. It's a nine. Cheers, y'all. I'll see you around. I hope you all have a wonderful, wonderful barrel-aged beer month because mine just got phenomenal. I will see you after I get the BCS 2022s. I can't re wait to review that base model, and I hope I can get my hands on some of the variants. But until then, cheers and rock on. Oh my god, I, I, I'm not stopping. Mm. That's so good. So good. Oh man. <laughs>